Okay, I'm gonna record some autopilot footage here and we'll see uh, how it does with the visualizations. See some new stuff going on here. Looks like I gotta aim the camera up a little bit, make sure we get the actual traffic lights. And there's now arrows. It is horrible weather. It is obviously raining pretty hard. And uh, potholes, okay, here we go. I do have Aquapel, so hydrophobic coating on all my camera lenses. This is my first time out actually to see if that works. I, I uh, applied it like a month ago. Okay, we'll try a little autopilot here. Okay, a pole was in the ground, interesting. Anyhow, um, essential driving only for these COVID-19 times. Uh, yes, I'm on a errand for a close family member who needs a hearing aid repair pretty good cause being cooped up at home. Today part of my challenge is about this crummy weather. It's doing extremely well so far. Um, but also about taking this exit. We'll see how it goes. So clearly on the on-screen display you can see the exit I'm about to take. And I'm aiming the camera in such a way that the stuff that's cut off at the bottom is not at all crucial. I really want you to see the visualizations. And we got a bunch of traffic lights and surface roads to hit here. So let's put on I have get an autopilot. It should take this exit for me car coming up on my left, keeping an eye on things. All right, that was a failure. It did not even take the exit for me, return the blinker. That was my left hand flicking on the stock. Huh, I have no idea what happened this then. Okay, now around town driving, we don't want that. Okay, we have a power outage potentially, because the light is blinking yellow. So let's see how blinking yellow looks. Does it render blinking yellow? Yes, it does. Okay, more light renderings here. This one's pretty straightforward, it's green. Trash can's on their side, it rendered as standing up. <laughs> All right. Kind of fun. Um, yeah, I'm getting some corner cases in poor weather. <laughs> Un unexpected uh, little surprises. Blinking yellow, and that's something you normally see if you have power outage and overturned trash cans. You know, if my eyes are focused on the road, it's terrible weather. All right, so now we're just getting green lights. Not a whole lot to look at here. It seems like they just got larger. The visualization for the traffic light passing over dead got, seems like it got larger than past software releases. We have a left arrow on the road, painted perfectly, rendered in just the right spot. Impressive. All right, time to uh, glove up if I need to touch a lever on this post office drop box. Looks like, nope, I can just stick the box in. That's good. Nope, does have a handle, never mind. So that's it for this little bit of uh, around town footage with some uh, visualizations. You'll see the post office box briefly showed as a garbage can. Also kind of fun, or funny. All right, looks like uh, it stops rendering at low speeds. We get to five miles an hour. Oh uh, yeah, no handles. Great, I can just stick it in, keep the camera rolling. Beautiful. light. Beautiful renderings there. Garbage can across the street where there's a, a utility box there for the traffic light control. Um, and the garbage can looks kind of close so it's confused. Showing a garbage can close. So that is incorrect. The wipers are on auto. They're doing a fine job of uh, me not having to think about it while driving. So that's a big improvement. And the traffic lights are swinging pretty violently in the wind. It's rendering them without the swinging. <laughs> uh, another corner case here. Um, that makes three of them. Okay, wipers just backed off on the speed. No left arrow. Okay. Autopilot working on the surface road, but you're really not supposed to be using it. Traffic cones rendered for where fire hydrants are. I'm going to turn off autopilot and just drive manually. As I should 
should be on surface roads. You'll notice I only did that when there were no cars anywhere near me. Again, it's beta. It's really intended for highway. They're very clear on that when you engage or when you first activate autopilot in the menu settings in your car. Aquapel does seem to work. Pretty nasty weather here. Let's end with the rear camera. Uh, not so great. So about a month after putting that aquapel on the rear camera, giant glob of water. But you know what? Up here where I need to see is actually pretty good. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. And for visiting tinkertry.com slash Tesla or for videos, bit.ly. So B-I-T dot L-Y slash Tesla vids. B-I-D-S. Thank you again. Bye now. Tipped over garbage. Tree branch.